And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some lucky victor. This is going to be an all-in victor deck. We're going to be trying to get victor in play and get all sorts of keywords on victor and make victor really big and have victor take over the game. So in order to do that, we're going to be combining victor with Sharima and we're playing mostly all Sharima cards, 33 and 7 because Sharima has lucky finds. So we're gonna have like Inner Sanctum here that can create two lucky finds. That's why we're calling this Lucky Victor because lucky finds can give some buffs to our allies so they can give like some keywords. So we can use lucky finds to give some keywords uh, to Victor so that whenever we play the Hex Core upgrade, Victor already has a good amount of keywords and so we can try to get, you know, like the other keywords that <laughs> we can't get with the lucky finds on the Victor. The other reason why we're going like mostly all Sharima though is for Golden Ambassador. We got uh, three Golden Ambassadors that have the Allegiance. So this will be able to draw Victor for us. Also give Victor plus two plus two. So that would be pretty nice. Um, which of course we're only playing Victor for our only champion to make sure that we are drawing Victor and not other champions. We have Profiteers. Profiteers are going to work perfectly in our deck for two reasons. One, we get the Lucky Fine. So that's great with Victor. And two, it has five power. And so it will strike with five power, which does start our reputation going because Inner Sanctum does have that reputation thing, which I kind of forget about sometimes. Forget that it has that, but it does. Besides that, we have some other support. We're going to have like Soothsayer be able to um, grant uh, Victor Spell Shield. And so like that's going to be another way to get a, a keyword on Victor. We're going to have Devoted Council because hopefully we level up Victor. We'll be playing a bunch of created cards and stuff. Uh, with these lucky finds and hex core foundries and um, ignitions from ballistic bot so hopefully we can level up victor and then and then this will help us stay alive heal our nexus for two each round we have ancient hourglass to protect victor um like if they're going to use something to remove it we can uh ancient hourglass it plus ancient hourglass is important because if we have two victors which can definitely happen with us having all these gold ambassadors it'll be won't be that difficult to have multiple victors in hand we can hourglass one victor away and then play a new victor and now we got and then like then this one comes back and so then we can get two victors in play doing their thing and like suits are both victors um you know all that kind of stuff we have siphoning strikes to make victor even bigger we have one mechanized mimic to uh you know get all the keywords the victor's got um unfortunately we only had room for one mechanized mimic because playing like ambassador and profiteer and victor it was like just a lot of fours and we just couldn't have couldn't like then also put a bunch of fives in as well um, one boomerang blade to get a couple of strikes in that will definitely help out with the reputation and you know then just some other like good interaction to finish out the deck and like some predict and stuff like that all right so that's going to be our that's going to be our deck lucky victor um kind of meme tier ish but we're going to play it in ranked because we can um, but yeah, hopefully we get some really cool victors. This this one's gonna be fun, even if we won't get all the the wins. This like we're gonna do some cool stuff with Victor with this deck. So here we go. Like this is I'm looking forward to playing this. This is gonna be fun. If like your first Victor makes a hex core upgrade and then it dies, then you play a second Victor. That first hex core upgrade wouldn't affect it. But yeah, you would get the augment on both of them. Trundle Lissandra, gross. Watcher. I don't know if we have too many ways to stop the Watcher. I don't know if we really have any ways to stop the Watcher, to be honest. Just mull like this is honestly like a good curve, but I'm mulliging those because I want to find Victor. Yeah, unfortunately, I just I don't know if we can actually stop Watcher. Witness perfection, meatbags. Evolve or die. Yeah, if we get two victors in play with Hourglass, well, then they would each make a hex core upgrade, and then each hex core upgrade would only affect the victor that uh, you have. So this is countdown one, make two lucky finds. I guess I'm just. I think I'm just casting the ignition and passing. Unless I want to give the. Do we want to give the ballistic bot? I guess we could. Yeah, might as well. We could get like Challenger and try to kill this Lissandra. Oh wow! And then we got Victor. Dang. So I guess we're going with the, with the Victor. Join the glorious 
I don't have the mana for the hex core upgrade now because I spent one mana on that. I shouldn't have played that ignition last round. Playing that ignition last round is costing me. Okay, so we could just go ahead and give it overwhelm. The plus one plus one's not bad, but yeah, let's just give it the overwhelm. Give it some keywords. Spell shield, cool. Quick attack, cool. Mm, I kind of want the quick attack. Because I feel like, I guess, you know, like the spell shield will it will take up, like spell shield is just going to be getting up, getting eaten up, sorry, by ice shard. Let's just go with the quick attack, actually. Oh, the box. Box isn't as good. Ooh. Okay. I need regen. Fury. I guess I'm gonna go with this inner sanctum. Got four to seven. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I still have six mana next round, so I'll have like Ride Negation plus Hourglass. Actually, five, six, seven. Okay, actually, no, let's not play Ignition. Okay. Figured it out. In order to play this Hex Core upgrade, um, it already has Overwhelm, so it looks like Fearsome. I guess plus zero, plus two. Yeah, this is sweet. Like, lucky, like, yeah, lucky Victor is sweet. Okay, so a few different ways we can play this. I. I think we're just going to go with the right of negation and just get rid of the mana gem. Because I, like, if they had the attack token, I'd be going hourglass because we have the attack token. I want to do this. Let's get scout. Lifesteal? That doesn't really matter. Well, we got to block both. All right, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Lifesteal V Watcher. All right, we can, got our backup Victor, which, you know, I can hourglass and play new Victor. I kind of want to do that. Oh, I kind of want to do that right now. Just hourglass it. No, we need to play this X4 upgrade first. Uh, what am I thinking? Play that first. Is that spell? Is that spell shield? Or is that elusive? It doesn't even say. Oh, there it is. Spell shield. Yeah. Okay. All right. And they only have two mana left anyway. Mm. Sometimes you gotta have fun with life. Is this the best play? No. Probably going Siphoning Strike on that 3-3 was the best play, because they're like basically dead if I do that. Sometimes you just gotta have fun. So I, I, I'm pretty sure that, like, I would have just won with just Siphoning Strike that, like, I just don't... I mean, I guess, like, they could have had Vengeance, like, Vow Feast into Vengeance. But, want to have some fun. Welcome 
Well, that's a good sign. Still do some frostbite. You know real value when you see it, my friend. <laughs> there we go. All right. Lucky Victor. Dude, this deck is sweet. Ooh, Zoe Vine. The thing I don't like about this matchup, of course, is that they are a Hush deck. Hush is quite good against Victor. That card will go away. This card go away. I think Preservarium is good in, in late games. I think it's what I've kind of learned is like Mulligan, Preservarium, early. Um, we're not really playing too much removal. Cool, Merciless Hunter. I'm going to say for uh, Zoe's. For Zoe, we don't really have much removal. But just pass. No Zoe. Pass. And pass again. No Zoe still. Good. Do I want a Ballistic Bot? Next round, go Bot. Save two mana. Or do I just skip? I think we'll go bot next round. We can I'll always rely on you to keep us safe. <laughs> Don't touch it. That's not really worth the merciless hunter. Yeah, they also have like, yeah, they have Equinox for bot. Yeah, they have. They have a lot of ways to silence us. Which ain't cool. Alright, hopefully we hit. We've only seen one PNZ card so far, so there's six out of 32 that would not hit. But hopefully we do. Yay! I think I just let that happen. I think I need to save the hourglass for Victor. I'm just gonna let it happen. Join the glorious evolution. The flesh bags will bow, great maker. Can you improve perfection? Well, they've been hitting the best card so far. Equinox and Obliterate. The 1 3 Ballistic Bot's a good thing for me to sacrifice with Riot Negation. Well, I can't keep Victor alive, but I can make it so their Vi doesn't stay alive either. So next turn we have seven. Eight. I don't need a plan. Eat this. Uh, um, Preservarium's probably gonna be pretty good. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Maybe I should just be playing the Preservarium and then have the Merciless Hunter. That's probably what I should be doing instead of this open attack. Ooh, you're interesting. Sunlight's 
their papers now faces? Yeah, I should have been first. Can you improve perfection? Yay! I still haven't been hitting very many PNZ cards, right? So we've only seen like two PNZ cards, I think. We live in hollow times. Hooray! So they could, yeah, you know, they could have another one of the obliterates. So I didn't want to display Victor right there. invoke cards. So they still have a, a Priestess Invoke card out of these four cards. Got two quicksand, two scrying sands. Life steal. How do they stop Victor killing Zoe? I don't know if they can. If I challenge with a 4 3, they can just get excited. I don't think they can really do much here. Good. Scout and Lifesteal are both different um, keywords that Profiteer and Inner Sanctum do not give. That's fine, we'll kill this bot. Unfortunately, it stays silenced. Those are just the worst choices. Where are the keywords? I don't want to use the 3-2 to kill the bot because of Mystic Shot. Um, it could have gone with the 2-3, but then Pill Cascade. Like, they're going to have, like, like that kind of stuff. Like, Guiding Touch. It's just... Yeah, you know, like, Guiding Touch is also another option. Like, it's just... The 4-3 is the way to go. These 2-3s and 3-2s also... You know, like, it's not like... Yeah, the 4-3 is the way to go. Uh, yeah, the bus will come back after this round. Ingenious. 
I like it. What are you, a 9-9? Nine, nine? That's pretty big. So I can quick sand this and block. I can also just take it. Like I'm at 20 and this thing has lifesteal, right? Like <laughs> this thing's lifesteal. So I could also just take it. I think I'm just gonna take it because of the lifesteal. Unfortunately, you can only go to 20. We'd be at a much higher life total if we go more. Okay, the regen. Regen's good to know. Like that, I would have quick sand blocked if I knew it. we had regen. So right now, Boomerang Blade would kill, you know, would do, it would halfway kill that and then kill that. Get a good Scout. Oh, we already have Scout. Never mind. Get good Overwhelm. I think that was Elusive. Yeah, that's Elusive. So life steal, scout, regen, elusive. Dude, this is what we're just all in Victor, right? These ancient hourglasses are great too. Protection. Like, what are they supposed to do? They're gonna they get they have to like use the spell to get rid of the spell shield and then hush it. I mean I could try to kill them this round, but if they have like Yeah, I mean might as well just try to kill them this round. Okay, so we know they have a whole bunch of invoke cards in hand. Right, they still have like the six mana invoke, and they have, I think they have two, three or less invokes. No, 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 they used one of them on this. They have one, three or less mana invoke. All right. Well, we're going to try to kill them. They've already played one hush. They have to have another interactive spell plus a hush to stay alive. That doesn't seem like it. Because if they just play a, an elusive like Zoe or something like that to block, then we're then we merciless hunter. The other elusive that's a blocker. So that's what I want to see. I want to see them just play an elusive. Or concede. Dude, Victor's so much fun and keywords are fun. This deck's great. This deck is great. We defeated Deep and Zoe Vi. Let's go. And Master's rank just going all in Victor. Let's go. Not Deep. Yeah, TLC. Watcher. Both the Gold Ambassador and the Siphoning Strike with those plus two plus twos are, are really important. Yeah, Zoe Vi is definitely a meta deck. Definitely. Alright, Mulligan, Mulligan, uh, Misfortune, Twisted Fate, Swain. Uh, this deck's gonna be pretty sweet. I guess we have to Mulligan you also. We just don't have Victor right now. Golden Ambassador! What's up, bot? Once I stand papers, now faces. Can you improve perfection? I am the future. Yeah. Destiny awaits. I think I'm just going to be casting the ignition right here. Waiting on Devoted Council. It found you. Yeah. Prime Saving spell day. mana. Rise, metal brethren. Safety disengage. Guns blazing. Good thing we drew the PNZ card, Mechanize Mimic, right before. Man, I, I really like this Gold Ambassador Victor. I really like 4-6 Victors, much more than 2-4 Victors. 6 health Victor is sweet. And then just add in some Ancient Hourglasses for protection. The flesh bags will bow, 
It's so hard to kill this thing now. Oh, regen. Regen's useful. Hourglass. I guess I do really want to level up this Victor, don't I, for the Devoted Council, so maybe I should be playing this Ignition. Let's see, next round, we'll have, if I play Ignition, we'd have eight mana next round. So enough for, like, Siphoning Strike, Hourglass, and the Hex Core upgrade. I attack, they flock, they block, flock. You pay first. Cool. That worked out. Here. Of course, I got the two ancient hourglass to protect Victor. Profiteer will help Victor level up, which will help Devoted Council. Rude. Yeah, the hourglass has been amazing for us. So mechanized mimic needs to attack to get the keywords, and right now it's just lifesteal regen. That's probably my Victor dying. They probably just drew something that kills it, unfortunately. Well, maybe not. Spell shield. Spell shield good. Okay. So that's a round start thing, so I don't really need to do that anyway. We love it when they run. Wrap them up tight. I could hit with the profiteer to help reputation, but that's okay. All right, so only one. Deploy. Only one thing away from leveling up, Victor. These siphoning strikes are going to be great, dude. This deck is so much fun. <laughs> I already love it. Love this all in Victor. Uh, this is fun. These are my kind of cards: siphoning strike, a whole bunch of keywords. Victor's a ton of fun to play. Get that Fury bonus also. The old 1410. Uh, eh. I guess we can't really heal either very well. If I played the Devoted Council, then I couldn't play Mimic and Siphoning Strike this round. And of course, I probably want to play both Mimic and Siphoning Strike this round. Let's 
So that pops the spell shield. Oh, and it stuns? Flame. Oh, but it didn't pop spell shield. Did it? I don't know. It still has this spell shield. No, no. Okay, so it still has spell shield. So if I attack with the mechanized mimic, it will get all of those keywords. But it'll also be kind of easy to kill. It won't, it'll just be a 3 4, so they could like block and then kill it. I do have the hourglass. Um, wait, no, because it, it gets spell shield. So it's not that easy to kill. Does it have some ideas similar to a solo Fiora deck? I guess, kind of. All right, well, there goes the spell shield, unfortunately. Just trades with the sentry. Yeah, they're definitely different, but it has like some Everyone similar aspects, I suppose. Oh, there we go. <laughs> can't handle the victor. Dude, nobody can handle the victor. Our lucky victor deck is 3 and 0. Oh. Hey, Guten How. Okay, Thresh and Asus is going to be tough because they are super aggressive and super fast. So this is going to be a tough one. Most definitely. I'm not going to take out any of these cards, though. I'll be very impressed if we win this game. <laughs> I'll be very impressed. We're going to need a, a really good victor. <laughs> the Doggo doesn't look as impressed about this deck as I am. <laughs> yeah, Gold Ambassador has definitely been one of our MVPs. That's how we've been fighting our victors. And getting the plus two, plus two on the victor is really nice. See what we see, Ancient Hourglass, Golden Ambassador, Siphoning Strike. Those cards have all been amazing. Boys, yeah, just the old attack for five round one. Perfectly fair. Perfectly fair and balanced. Don't have Merciless Hunter, please. Good. Gonna find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? So we got to think of Black Spear. If I attack, challenge, then play Victor, they get Black Spear Victor. I think that's what they're kind of doing with like saving that three spell mana that kind of is telling me Black Spear. I wouldn't necessarily, I mean, I could just pass here, honestly. Really could. I guess this is the play. We're just going to have to wait a little bit on Victor. So after I play Victor, like whenever I play Victor, I need the mana for the hex core upgrade, plus I need mana for Hourglass and possibly Quicksand as well if it's on my opponent's round. I mean, I, I waste one mana here, they waste four. Bigger Victor. This is going to be a close game. The Thrash is going to be really, really problematic. To 
three out of six already. Especially if they do have Black Spear, which is what I'm expecting. I can't kill Doomkeeper right now. It makes it a lot easier for this threat. Like, if I kill Doomkeeper, they play Ravenous Butcher, their Thresh is leveled up, I, like, lose the game. So these are both spells. That's bad for me. It's basically all the spells they can have are bad for me. I imagine one of them is Black Spear, the other one yeah, could be Deny, could be Atrocity. Wow. Okay. That's surprising. So they're worried about something else dying, but like they could have they could have like glimpsed beyond, you know, like one of these other things and then leveled up their Thresh. That's good for me that just Thresh isn't leveled up. I was kind of hoping that they would go for the Doomkeeper so that I could then kill it, but it would still level up the Thresh, but they wouldn't draw the two. Which maybe I wouldn't even want to do that. But they, yeah, I think they, they really wanted to deny the plus two, plus two from the Victor. And then they also get the uh, Slay to get the plus one, plus one on their Nasus. This too shall end. It's going to be a close game. It's going to be a close game. Does, of course, mean I don't have the Ancient Hourglass protection anymore. I could definitely backfire, but, you know, I, I really want to stop them from drawing that champion, especially if it's another Nasus. Just pass. If it's another Nasus, I'm, like, dead. Oh, they had it. I should have just kept the hourglass up. I should have just kept the hourglass up and let him draw it. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people play the best tier one decks and then emote whenever they win. Yep, yeah, that was. Yep, yeah, I needed to keep the hourglass available. Jeremy Koss with the big time raid. Welcome everybody from the big host. We are having some fun today. We're playing this deck called Lucky Victor. So far, doing great 3-0 in Masters rank, but it looks like we are about to be losing our first game to Thresh Nessus. Quit struggling. It was close, but it looks like our opponent has us from here. There's not much I can beat. With my opponent. Not much my opponent can have that I defeat. Welcome everybody from Shermie Stream. Yeah, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. We're gonna be playing some some really fun decks. We also up next we got a Sivir Nasus Howling Abyss deck. And then we'll be playing a Singleton Invoke deck with three Pursuit of Perfections. After that, this should be Victor right here. No, alright, next card's Victor. What? Where's Victor? Oh, the Victor turns into Death Ray? Oh, the Victor just goes randomly, right? The Death Ray goes on top of the deck. The Victor just goes randomly into the deck. Okay, so we just gotta find it, right? Because we used the Victor Champion spell before. Um, and then a Zillion Ezreal deck from a viewer on YouTube.
But I, I messed this one up. I didn't protect Victor from a siphoning strike, and I needed to. We'll get our licks in. The desert prices, just the right price. Yeah, they have a bunch of spells in hand. Maybe get a good quick attack. I definitely think that, that one of their cards is Ride of Negation for kind of how they played earlier. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure of a Ride of Negation. Third at Nasus. It's unfortunate. Look at all these pretty faces. We need you, Victor. Victor. Need Victor. Can Boomerang Blade do it for me? Probably not. This one's a fighter. Gonna need a victor or a golden ambassador to draw one. Is there fourth Nasus? Come on. Yeah, the Siphoning Strike killed my victor. Won this game. And they baited out my last mana to tap out. I, I messed that. I just messed this game up. I just don't. If I just keep the Ancient Hourglass for that, I, I think I can be just fine in he, in this game. I think I, I honestly think I could have had this. All right, so three and one. I mean, I'm still going to take a, a good three and one. I knew that was going to be a tough matchup. It was. Okay, super fast aggro. Can we survive against super fast aggro? The ambassadors have been good. I'm gonna keep it. Means that we have round five victor. Okay, cool. But of course it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna survive super fast aggro. Crying Sands. It just cost one mana. Many things that cost one mana. Um, unfortunately, their hand's looking pretty good. So their hand is very good. Can you improve perfection? Six mana, six bodies. For the first three rounds, it doesn't get any better than that. We love it when they run. We don't actually love it when they run. We're joking about that. All of this is ours. I need a you know, I need to play Victor next round and have, you know, like lifesteal Victor. I have to get very lucky with that. Drowning our cheers. Must be down to five. We've got things to do. Let's both attack for four. Just save two life by playing the scrying sands. Is that even worth it? Can't save the ambassador. Not here, not now. Have 
guess it could be worth it. If Victor does get life steal, siphoning strike could be very important. Right, like we we have to get very lucky here. Yeah, it's not many not many people are beating this kind of hand, like when you have the first six mana on the first three rounds, you have six units, and then you have Merciless Hunter to get rid of a blocker. Not many people are beating this hand. So I'm, I'm not not again too upset about any kind of any kind of loss here. But we need to hit lifesteal. I'm gonna do it. Don't really know exactly why that's blocking whenever that could have just challenged. Why did why they even block there? This was a hand. No, Lucky Fine cannot give life steal. No. Okay, so you know the, the last last game, GG's opponent. You know, like perfect aggro hand. We're playing a kind of a little bit of a, a slower, uh, you know, kind of memeish type deck. But I was, I have to say, that I was really, really impressed with it though. Especially those first three games, and even against the Thresh Nasus opponent, I messed up. I didn't keep, um, you know, I fell for the. Um, you know the the sacrifice card, and I played, um, you know, the champion spell with the death ray, and they had the second Nasus in hand. In fact, they had a third Nasus and fourth Nasus, and uh, you know, just too many Nasus. Um, so I fell for it. But this was really fun. This was a really fun deck to play. It was is uh, it felt really really good. Um, I think that's going to be the biggest weakness is going to be those super fast decks. But I was really impressed how we beat the Watcher deck. And we defeated Watcher, we defeated um, Zoe Vi, had some real good wins um, with it. And uh, Victor plus Siphoning Strike plus Golden Ambassador making large victors was really powerful with all the keywords. And then Ancient Hourglass uh, really performed well, being able to help protect the victors. So that was really cool. That was really cool. All right, so there we go. So that's going to be uh, Lucky Victor. That was a really cool deck. Um, to help against those aggro decks, I have the I have the boomerang blade in here, thinking that it was gonna like, but the boomerang blade really didn't like with having the siphoning strikes. It really didn't seem like we needed a boomerang blade. I would I would maybe just say take that out and play a spirit fire. Maybe that'll help you a little bit against those super fast aggro decks, but also maybe not. I mean, spirit fire is kind of slow. Like it's seven mana. You just don't have like that m many good options in mono Shurima. Um, you know, because we want to be as much Shurima as we can. Also, Mechanized Mimic didn't really look that good. You know, it was, again, a card that was kind of testing out. Those could be, you know, you could just go with some earlier stuff. So, like, instead of the Mechanized Mimic, because you never want to miss this Golden Ambassador, right? So, it's probably not, it, for how Mechanized Mimic looked, it's probably not worth risking missing a Golden Ambassador because of it. So, I would, I would recommend taking that out and getting another Shurima card in. And so, you know, that could be, like, a Ruin Runner, right? But... It seemed like, you know, maybe we just need earlier, some earlier blockers against some stuff. So you could just play like a couple of, uh, what are they called? Dune Keepers. You could just put a couple of Dune Keepers in here just to help out against aggro. Um, maybe that's the thing to do and not really worry about, you know, uh, yeah, you could probably just put a couple of those in. Uh, just get a couple of blockers. That's probably, that's probably going to be better now is, you know, like, Later, late game, Doom Keeper won't be very good, but I think our deck is pretty good in the late game, as we saw with uh, having Victor and all this other stuff, all this power with Golden Ambassador and stuff like that. So maybe just some Doom Keepers for the aggro decks. All right, so there we go. That's Lucky Victor. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this deck as much as I did. Um, but that's gonna be it here for this one. So yeah, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of it. And if you try it out yourself, let me know how you like it and, uh, you know, the change there. Do you like the Dune Keepers over those other two? 
yeah, let me know. All right, but anyway, that's going to be here for this deck, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.